There's a new spot on the north side of Youngstown where you can grab a bite to eat, a drink, you can listen to some local, not so local music. And I stopped by for their soft opening ahead of their grand opening to find out what makes the Valley Speakeasy the place to be on Belmont. Out front, you'll still see the sign for Krabby Bob's. It's only there until the new signage is put up, but it almost plays into the new restaurant's name. The Valley Speakeasy. Yeah, we're, we're hidden in Krabby Bob's. Yes. <laughs> when you come to the North Side's new restaurant, the Valley Speakeasy, no password is required, but you do need to be ready to have a roaring good time when you walk in those doors. With the stage lights set, a stocked bar, and food on the tables, already the Valley Speakeasy is a hit with its customers. I think the Valley Speakeasy just takes it up a notch, and really a, a really cool vibe here. The food is amazing. On the menu, home-cooked food that taps into the Valley's cultures, Polish dishes, pasta, and local desserts from Abigail's Bakery in Austintown. A lot of appetizers going out the door. We have a, a Bloody Mary deviled egg that's just been off the charts. We're trying to stay as much to our roots as we, as we can. We want to stay local because local is how we got here. But the main attraction, aside from the craft cocktails you might see at a speakeasy, is the stage. We have Bigger bands coming from Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Columbus. I'm definitely excited about the live music. Yeah. I, any place that, you know, that's always a good, a good thing. That's some place you can go out, have a drink, listen to music. We're excited about bringing some live entertainment and some activity to Belmont. Mm -hmm. Belmont back in the day was a place to go. I think we might be one of the catalysts to start bringing Belmont back to life. But if there's no password to enter, what makes it a speakeasy? There's no password re required to get in. But there is a password for a secret wine list, so, so keep your ears open. Already they're booked for reservations on their grand opening Friday when Dueling Pianos is set to play. Close to 70, 80 people already reserved for Dueling Pianos. Um, so if you are planning to come to see them, get here early. They start at 8 o'clock. I asked if there was any worries since that building has seen more than one restaurant in the last probably five years. Ludband says it hasn't even crossed their mind. They'll have live music Thursday through Sunday every week. They plan on doing trivia nights, Queen of Hearts, and industry nights. That's all to come.